Hi, my name is Lemonation from Cloud9, and this is my bot lane guide to Ash Nautilus. So this lane is the most engaged possible from bot lane. Well, first off, Ash is a very strong laner pre-6. Her ability to poke and her long range allows her to kind of get in good trades and farm effectively, but you're really not going for anything pre-6. You kind of just want to farm up and at 6, since Ash Nautilus has infinite CC, they basically have the most kill pressure possible. And the fact that Nautilus, as a support, does quite a bit of damage, more damage than most of the supports do, means that they can 100 to 0 in enemy lane very effectively. And this is why you would always want to take Ignite on Nautilus in this lane, since at 6, you're looking for a kill. In solo queue, if you're playing this with, with your teammate, you basically want to go around looking for kills with your alts as much as possible. You can kind of post 6, if you two roam together, you can basically like force a kill anywhere, like even tur even like under turret. If Ash can ult someone and the Nautilus follows up with his CC, someone's gonna die, and you can just go around looking for kills as much as possible with that kind of that combo. Ideally, you would want some kind of good team fighting people on your team, like someone with like high AOE, like I don't know, a Karthus or a Cannon, stuff like that. Is what would work? Would what would be the ideal situation for this kind of bot lane? For level one on Nautilus, you always want E 100%. For Ash. I think it's somewhat situational. W is the one that's going to be better for poking in lane, but Q is going to be better for doing Grom. Now, at level 2, you're going to want the, the other one on Ash, obviously. And on Nautilus, it's situational. Usually, you want Hook, since you're not going to be able to actually like trade on a lot of lanes without that, especially if they're both ranged. But if you're against another like melee support who might be trying to go in on you, or if you have a good situation where you can trade with W, W is going to be better for the for the actual fight and for the actual trade since it mitigates so much damage. So it, you kind of just have to see how the lane is going, whether you take Q or W. So when you get to lane with Ash and Nautilus, since you both have such good AoE for pushing, you can most likely outpush the enemy. And you want to start pushing right away so you get level 2 first. So to have Nautilus just go up... E the creeps, try to hit the enemy champions with the e, as E as possible. Ash can, if she has volley, just volley the enemies and hit some of the creeps as well and just push. If you're not, let's don't push it too hard because you want Ash to actually be able to last hit so you don't want to like mess up her last hits. But make sure you're getting level 2 first. And then once you have level 2 advantage, try to go in on them immediately. And then slow down the pushing while you have level 2 advantage and try to deny them if possible. Okay, so level 3 on Nautilus, you want the last kill you didn't get. So you want one point in QWNE. With Ash, you're gonna want two points in Volley. Now at level three, depending on the situation, like if you have the lead in in the lane, like if you got level two first and your lane is pushing on them, at this point, you're gonna want to, first off, one of you will want to ward with your trinket for the jungle you're coming. And you're gonna want to start trying to push the entire wave into their turret so you can bounce back. Cause you don't actually want to be in the situation where you're like right in front of their turret like stuck there because at that point you'll be very vulnerable to be getting ganked and ash is a very unsafe laner and Nautilus doesn't have the best feel so you definitely want to not have the lane be in that situation you want to bounce it back and try to get on your side of the side of the lane now at level four ash can grab hawk shot and Nautilus wants another point in his e at this point you Nautilus is getting quite strong and ashes as well you can just look for hooks in on probably either of the support or the ad carry ideally the ad carry but if you ever hook either of them and just W and E and Ash just volleys and maybe it gets an auto attack too, you're going to win that trade. So you just want to do a trade back off. You don't have to all in. You can just trade like that. You'll chunk them. If you do have an ability to kill them, go for it, but no reason to force it. At level five, Nautilus gets another point in his E. Ash gets another point in her volley. At this point, you're likely going to be a lot stronger than the, the enemy lane. Nautilus's damage goes up extremely fast with levels in E. So at level five, he is the strongest support in the meta, I believe. So fighting at this at level five is good, but since you are so vulnerable, you want to make sure that the jungler cannot be there if you're going to fight, because you guys will die if you try to go in and the jungler is there 100%. So if there's any chance the jungler is there, I recommend just playing safe and waiting till six, because at six, you're going to have an even more immense pressure. Now at six, you both get your alts. I would recommend either calling your jungler down to kind of make sure that you can do this or just waiting to see the jungler somewhere else. But if you have either of those opportunities happens, you can go extremely hard. Ash can just ult someone. Nautilus can go in, follow up with his ult, hook them in, and just go for a kill. If your jungler's there, you have a, a safety net, even if their jungler comes, that you should win the fight. And yeah, just wait for a good opportunity and go hard. So post laning phase, you want to be looking for a play to make 
with your alt on cooldown. So you can possibly like push up your lane bot, try to either roll mid right away after you pushed up or back by and maybe show up mid from base. Or maybe you show up top, get a kill, and push down to top after. Things like that is what you should be looking to do. And you should only be looking to do things when you guys have ults. So basically, you use your ults, you make a play, maybe try to get an objective after that, and then stop doing anything until your ults are back up. Just farm until your ults are back up. Defend, play passively, don't try to do anything, because without your ults, you're not going to be able to do anything effectively, and you might just throw your lead or throw the game. There's three very common AD carries right now. Sivir, Urgot, and Kalista. The benefit Ash has over all of them is basically that she outranges them. Ash can kind of outrange Sivir and due to her slow, kind of keep her at max range and harass her. So she, she has a very good matchup in lane for Sivir. Her only issue is that once Sivir gets six, due to Sivir's ult, she can kind of force kills onto Ash if Ash doesn't have the peel. So it, it, it's kind of pre-six, Ash is the advantage there. Post-six, Ash will be fine, but if the enemy team decides to focus the Ash, it's definitely a weakness that the team has. And if she's not like defended correctly, Ash will get run over. Now, Ash versus Urgot is going to be very difficult for the Ash. The, the first few levels you'll be okay, but once Urgot gets some levels, he's going to start bullying super hard, and Ash just doesn't have enough damage to deal with Urgot. So the Urgot's kind of going to be quite a difficult matchup, and it will probably just eventually overrun the Ash, and Ash can't do, do that much to him. Ash will also have quite a bit of issue with a lot of the, the tank supports like that are common, like Alistair and Nautilus. Those kind of, well, since we have Nautilus, <laughs> it won't be an issue there, but the, the tankier the sports are going to be more of an issue for Ash, and she just doesn't have enough to, enough damage to, to kind of deal with them. Thanks for watching this guide. Make sure to check out my other guides here at lolclass.com.